I'm glad you could join us. Go ahead and stab the like button and stick around for the next untold story. In the heart of the Navajo Nation, where the red sands whisper ancient secrets and the wind carries tales from generations past, there was a small, isolated community that lived in harmony with the land. The elders spoke of many things, cautioning the young ones about the creatures of myth and legend that roamed the expansive desert. Among these entities, none was more feared than the Skinwalker, a malevolent witch capable of transforming into any animal they desired. These beings were spoken of in hushed tones, a warning against the dangers of misusing the tribal magic. Deputy Sheriff Kyle Begay, a member of the Navajo tribe himself, had grown up listening to these stories. Though he had walked the path of a modern law enforcement officer, the teachings of his elders had never left him. One chilly October evening, Kyle was called to investigate reports of livestock mutilations on the outskirts of the community. Such incidents were not uncommon often attributed to predators or harsh weather. Yet, the recent frequency and brutality of these attacks had stirred old fears among the locals. Arriving at the scene, Kyle noted the unease in the air. The cattle owner, an old Navajo man named John Yazzie, was waiting for him, visibly shaken. It's not normal, Kyle, he said, his voice strained. The way they were killed, it's unnatural. This wasn't the work of any coyote or mountain lion. Kyle followed John to the pasture where the latest attack had occurred. The sight that greeted him was grim. Two cows lay mutilated, their bodies torn with what seemed like extreme ferocity and precision. The disturbing aspect was the lack of blood, as if it had been completely drained, a detail that sent a chill down Kyle's spine, recalling the sinister signature of a skinwalker's deed. As Kyle examined the scene, he took photographs and made notes for the official report. The sun was setting, casting long shadows over the land and the wind began to pick up, carrying a faint, almost imperceptible whisper. Kyle, feeling the weight of the elders' stories, felt a prickle of dread as he thought of the Skinwalker legends. It was then he noticed the tracks around the bodies. They were unlike any predator he knew, part human, part something else, and they led off into the brush toward the rocky outcrops nearby. John noticed them too and grabbed Kyle's arm, his grip tight. You mustn't follow them, he warned. It's dangerous to pursue a skinwalker. They might lead you into a trap or worse, curse you. Despite John's warning, Kyle's duty as an officer compelled him to investigate further. He reassured John and asked him to return to his house for safety. With his rifle in hand and a flashlight cutting through the encroaching darkness, Kyle followed the tracks. Each step took him deeper into the ancient land and the sense of foreboding grew stronger the tracks led to a small canyon, its walls steep and the floor shrouded in darkness. Kyle paused at the entrance, listening. The wind howled through the canyon, and for a moment it sounded like laughter, cold and mocking. Taking a deep breath, he stepped into the shadowy fissure, his flashlight sweeping the area ahead of him. The canyon twisted and turned, and as Kyle moved forward, he thought he saw a figure darting in the periphery of his light. His heart raced, and he called out, challenging the presence but only his echo returned to him. He pressed on, determined to find the source of the tracks and the truth behind the livestock mutilations. The story of Kyle Bigay and the investigation of the Skinwalker was far from over. As he ventured deeper into the canyon, the signs of the creature became more apparent and the night around him seemed alive with whispered threats and unseen eyes watching. What lay ahead in the depths of the canyon would test the very limits of his beliefs and his resolve to protect his community. Kyle moved cautiously through the twisting canyon, his flashlight flickering over ancient rock walls that seemed to absorb the light, making the darkness even more oppressive. The further he ventured, the stronger the unsettling feeling grew, a sensation of being watched from the shadows. The tracks continued to be visible in the soft earth of the canyon floor, now more distinctly human than animal. Kyle's mind raced with the legends he had been taught as a child. Stories meant to teach respect for the forces of nature and the boundaries not to be crossed. Each step forward felt like a direct challenge to those very tales. As he rounded a sharp bend in the canyon, the temperature dropped suddenly, breath turning to mist in the cold air. He paused, listening. There was a new sound, distinct from the howling wind. It was a soft, rhythmic chanting, barely audible. 
It seemed to emanate from deeper within the canyon's labyrinthine network. With every fiber of his being screaming for caution, Kyle pressed on, drawn by both duty and a deep, unshakable need to know. The chanting grew louder, a monotonous drone that seemed to resonate with the very ground beneath his feet. The air grew thicker, the darkness almost tangible, clinging to him like a second skin. He came to a wider section of the canyon, where the walls pulled back to form a small, natural amphitheater. His beam caught on something in the center, a figure cloaked in shadow, standing motionless. Kyle raised his rifle, his other hand steadying the flashlight aimed at the figure. Police! Identify yourself! He called out, his voice echoing off the stone. The figure remained still for a moment before turning slowly to face him. The flashlight revealed not a face, but a mask, an eerie depiction of a coyote, its features grotesquely exaggerated and unsettling. The figure's presence was commanding, almost regal, yet deeply menacing. Kyle felt a chill run down his spine as the figure began to move towards him in a slow, deliberate dance, the chanting intensifying as if in response to his challenge. Each step seemed measured, calculated to intimidate. Kyle's heart pounded in his chest. He was trained to handle human threats, but this, this felt otherworldly. As the figure danced, the air around it seemed to shimmer, occasionally revealing glimpses of other forms, animals, both known and those he couldn't name, all watching from the shadows. The figure stopped, raising its arms towards the sky, and the chanting abruptly ceased, leaving a suffocating silence. Kyle stood frozen, unsure of his next move. The figure lowered its arms, and the mask slowly tilted to regard him once more. Then, in a voice that was both a whisper and a growl, it spoke. The words foreign, yet unmistakably a warning. Turn back, protector. This path leads only to peril. The moment hung between them, charged with an ancient power that Kyle could feel in his bones. But as a law enforcement officer, retreat was not in his nature. Stepping forward, he aimed his rifle directly at the figure. I cannot turn back. You're coming with me or you're going down, Kyle declared, though his voice betrayed a hint of his uncertainty. The masked figure's response was not in words, but in action. Suddenly, the ground trembled violently underfoot, throwing Kyle off balance. A deep, resonant growling filled the air, not from the figure, but from all around, as if the canyon itself was alive. The figure vanished in a swirl of dust and shadow, leaving Kyle alone in the suddenly silent amphitheater. Realizing the danger was far from over, Kyle knew he had to find a way out of the canyon. But as he turned to retrace his steps, he found that the path he had come down was no longer there. In its place was a solid rock wall, as if the canyon had rearranged itself. The story of Kyle Bigay and his encounter with the Skinwalker was about to plunge deeper into the realm of the unknown, challenging everything he knew about the world and himself. Confused and increasingly alarmed, Kyle scanned the newly formed rock wall with his flashlight, hoping to find some crack or crevice that might suggest a way back. The smooth surface offered no such consolation. The realization that the canyon could shift and change left him feeling deeply unsettled. He was now trapped in a labyrinth with no visible exit, and the eerie silence seemed to mock his predicament. Determined not to succumb to panic, Kyle tried to recall the path he had taken, mapping it out in his mind. He needed to find another way out, another route that might lead back to the highway. Turning away from the impenetrable wall, he ventured deeper into the canyon, moving in the direction the masked figure had originally appeared from. As he walked, the canyon seemed to breathe around him, the walls subtly shifting with a barely perceptible grinding sound. The air grew colder, and his breath materialized in puffs of white vapor. Shadows moved at the edge of his flashlight beam, fleeting and insubstantial, heightening his sense of being watched by unseen eyes. Kyle's footsteps echoed oddly, the sound bouncing off the walls and creating a disorienting cacophony of echoes. The deeper he went, the more the canyon seemed to close in around him, the walls narrowing and the ceiling lowering until he had to stoop to continue. Suddenly, a soft glow appeared ahead, a faint light that seemed unnatural in the utter darkness of the canyon. Cautiously, Kyle approached, his flashlight's beam mingling with the growing light, which appeared to emanate from around a bend in the path. 
As he rounded the corner, he stopped abruptly, stunned by the sight before him. A large cavern opened up, the walls aglow with phosphorescent minerals that cast an eerie, otherworldly light. In the center of the cavern stood a pool of water, perfectly still, reflecting the glow of the walls and creating the illusion of a portal to another world. But it was what surrounded the pool that caught and held Kyle's attention. Arrayed around the water were dozens of petroglyphs, ancient carvings that depicted various animal forms and humanoid figures. Among them, the figure of the coyote was predominant, appearing repeatedly in scenes that suggested both reverence and fear. Kyle felt a chill as he remembered the masked figure's coyote visage. Mesmerized by the carvings, Kyle slowly walked around the pool, examining each depiction. The air in the cavern was heavy, charged with a palpable energy that seemed to hum through the ground. The silence was complete, a suffocating blanket that smothered all sound. As he completed his circuit of the pool, Kyle noticed that one of the petroglyphs didn't just depict the coyote figure. It was a relief that protruded from the wall, its features worn but distinct. Compelled by an inexplicable urge, Kyle reached out and touched the carving, his fingers tracing the ancient lines. The moment his skin made contact with the stone, the air in the cavern shifted. The still water in the pool rippled outward from the center, and a low, resonant tone filled the air, vibrating through the stone and into Kyle's bones. The glow from the walls brightened, pulsating rhythmically, as if the cavern itself was coming alive. Heart pounding, Kyle stepped back from the petroglyph, but his retreat was halted by a sudden movement in the water. A figure emerged from the center of the pool, water cascading down its form. It was the Skinwalker, no longer masked, but bare, its features an eerie echo of the petroglyph coyote. Its eyes glowed with the same phosphorescent light as the walls, fixating on Kyle with an intensity that rooted him to the spot. The story of Kyle's encounter in the Shifting Canyon was reaching a climax, the boundaries between the ancient myths and his modern reality blurring into obscurity. As the Skinwalker approached, the air thick with the scent of mineral and earth, Kyle knew that whatever happened next would change his understanding of the world forever. The Skinwalker spoke, its voice a whisper that seemed to echo from the very stones. You have awakened the old ways, protector, and they will not be silenced again. Kyle stood frozen, his heart racing as the Skinwalker approached. The air around him vibrated with an ancient power, the words of the creature resonating deep within his bones. Why am I here? What do you want from me? Kyle managed to ask, his voice barely above a whisper. The Skinwalker stopped just a few feet away, its eyes never leaving Kyle's. You carry the blood of those who walked before, those who knew the old ways, it said, its voice a mix of gravel and wind. You were drawn here not by chance, but by destiny. You are the bridge between the ancient and the modern, the guardian of the forgotten. Kyle struggled to process the words, the weight of the creature's gaze almost too much to bear. I'm just a man, he replied, his voice tinged with desperation. I don't understand any of this. The land remembers, even if the people forget, the skinwalker continued, moving closer. The mutilations, the disappearances, they were not random acts of nature. They were warnings, calls to remember and respect the old pacts made with the spirits of this land. The glow from the walls of the cavern intensified, casting long shadows that danced around them like spirits flickering in and out of existence. Kyle felt the air thicken, the energy building around him like a storm. And now, the skinwalker said, stepping into the pool, the water swirling around its legs, you must choose. Will you accept your heritage and protect the balance? Or will you deny it and let this land fall into darkness? Before Kyle could answer, a sharp pain exploded in his head, visions flashing before his eyes, images of ancient ceremonies, battles fought on this very land, and faces of his ancestors, all intertwined with scenes of modern chaos and destruction. The visions overwhelmed him, bringing him to his knees. The skinwalker extended a hand, its fingers elongating, morphing into the gnarled branches of the ancient pines that surrounded the canyon. Decide, it urged the cavern rumbling around them. Terrified and confused, Kyle reached out, his hand trembling as he touched the skinwalker's outstretched hand. 
The moment their skin met, a surge of energy blasted through him, like lightning coursing through his veins. The cavern shook violently, rocks and debris falling from the ceiling as the ground beneath them split open. The last thing Kyle saw before the darkness engulfed him was the skinwalker's glowing eyes, and the last thing he heard was its voice echoing in the chasm. The balance must be restored. The ground collapsed beneath them, swallowing Kyle and the skinwalker whole. The cavern sealed shut, leaving no trace of their existence, as if the earth had never been disturbed. Back on the surface, the canyon returned to its peaceful state, the eerie glow and rumbling sounds fading into the night. The legends of the skinwalker would persist, passed down through generations, but Kyle's fate would remain a mystery, his story a chilling reminder of the land's ancient power and the price of forgetting one's heritage. Thank you for listening. Now watch this video.